uh, Matt Lazat, Richmond Hill High School, I'm here with Rayvon Grant, uh, receiver DB, um, senior for our team, great leader, uh, sets a great example, playing a special season this year, coming off a, an injury in the springtime. But um, we're the Wildcats. We, we, we've had a tremendous offseason, very young group of guys that, that, that are coming back and returning uh, and eager to go go get after it. So um, we, we've we've been working really hard. We've been sitting at at about 96% of our team attendance daily during the summertime. Uh, and, and our guys have really put in a lot of work, uh, putting a special product together that I, in a, in a special time for our program. We're, we're rapidly growing, um, entering into a new region, a new style of play, uh, new opponents on the schedule that is going to be be very exciting for, for uh, for our players and, and our fans alike. And, and so it's a unique opportunity, unique experience, playing against some of the best competition in, in, the, in the country. And, uh, and we're looking forward to it. With the move up to Class 7A, I mean, these are a bunch of opponents that you probably haven't seen a lot of before, a lot of travel. You know, how have the guys adjusted to it so far? Well, we've taken down two of the four uh, already. So, uh, you know, we got two left to, to, to go get. So. Um, you know, we're excited about the opportunity, excited about the week-in, week-out competition. Our non-region schedule is a, a, a bear, uh, playing against some, some very good teams and uh, in, in hopes to prepare us for, for the long haul, the, the last four, four games of the season. One of those wins was against Camden a couple years ago, right? Correct. Valdosta. Valdosta. What do you think that, that experience in those non Well, five, six years ago, uh, we, we saw the growth. Um, I think our student population has increased by, by seven, 700 or so since I've, uh, since I've been there. And so uh, seeing the growth, we knew that it was, it was ultimately going to happen. And so everything that we've done over those years has been geared towards the transition to playing in the highest classification um, in, in Region 1. And so everything that we've done with the, the, the scheduling opponents, hitting the road uh, with the travel, um, has, has been geared towards preparing and making sure that we're ready to go when, when the time comes. Rayvon, talk about some of the strides that you made over the summer. What were the you know, biggest focuses for you in terms of things to improve on? First of all, being healthy from coming back from my injury, but just playing well, going back to how it used to be. Yeah. So Ray, Ray, Rayvon had a foot injury in, in, in the springtime and you know, it, it start, was able to start off slow, but man, when he got back, back on it, I mean, it was, it was like he never missed a beat. What did it feel like to get back on the field? It felt fun. I was excited to come back to play the game I love. So, yeah. yeah. When you uh, both look at the offense, you know, who are some guys that were maybe under the radar, maybe didn't get on the field a lot last year that you think are sort of trying for a breakout season? This question is to both of you. I mean, we, we, we've got, I mean, a lot of them played, honestly, uh, and they played really young. Um, and and you, can, you can talk about some, some of your guys. But uh, I think, I think uh, most importantly, um, is finding creative ways to get this guy the ball. And, and uh, you know, he, he's a special player with a special talent and ability. Um, and uh, we, uh, our quarterback, Ty Goldrick, does a great job of distributing the ball um, to, to all of our playmakers. And, and we've had some guys step up and have tremendous off seasons. I think one of the guys that's had the biggest off season is a, is a receiver, Mason Wilcox, who's, who's done a tremendous job of uh, – and he really thrived with Rayvon out, really stepped up to the plate, and now uh, now we can't take him off the field because he's he's pr producing so well. Sure. Like uh, Coach Zott said, Mason Wilcox, he been he stepped up to the plate when I was gone. So on defense, uh, looking at you guys specifically during our game of the week last year, I remember the pass rush was really getting after it, uh, more so than just about uh, you know more more so than a lot of other schools I've seen. What is your pass rush? Well, I, I, I've got a tremendous defensive line coach in, in Coach Chad Blanton, and he, he does a great job with those guys, fundamentally sound. Um, and and the, big, the big thing with it is, is, is uh, just the engagement with our guys. And, and I, I, it's just like tackling. You know, if, if you want to be good at it, you got to go hard. And, and our guys play really hard, and they get after it. Uh, and we've, we've switched up some things on defense. Um, you know, you look up on our board, and, and essentially in, in our starters, we have one senior starter on the, on the team as of right now. Um, and so a lot of young guys playing, playing major roles, um, and, the, and they're really thriving. And uh, we look to capitalize on, on some of those successes from last year. Uh, 
Uh, we've got about uh, two minutes left here. We're going to try and keep each team to ten minutes. And I know you got to get out of here. So uh, this is for uh, Mr. Grant, okay? Everybody spoke to you, Coach, about this new region, this new classification. What are the guys talking about? How, how are they looking at it? We're good. We think we're going to play well, compete. We do think it is a good region. They are 7A, but we're going to compete, I think. And how about going back and back to uh, Lounge and then Title Town for the last one? That's nothing. This is more competition. <laughs> Any of you uh, guys and girls got a question for Richmond Hill? I got one last question. Uh, you see Richmond Hill grads thriving on Saturdays all over the place. I know Britton Williams, uh, rookie, uh, yeah, and, uh, Ben Good showing out. Uh, how does it make both of you feel to see guys that you coached that maybe you knew uh, showing out like that on Saturdays? No, it's great. And even talking with those guys, coaches, about the, the role that they play. Um, and we're, we're excited about those guys and, and the seasons that they're going to have. And, and uh, hearing their college coaches talk about them and about the guys that they are really says a lot about, about those guys. And it makes us really proud that they, they, they rolled through Richmond Hill on the way there. And, and so, uh, you know, they're setting a great example. Uh, they keep, they stay in contact with us and, and, and with these guys to, and they're watching on Friday nights, ready, ready to go. So it's a extremely prideful group of guys um, and, and we're proud of what they do on Saturdays. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, okay, I was making sure. <laughs> but yeah, I did play with them a couple seasons ago. So I did learn a lot and it's good. Like, I like seeing them, how they play in college. So I'll just learn a lot. There you go.